Imagine looking at the world around you and seeing real-time information, captions, messages, even maps projected right onto your lens while still seeing everything clearly, naturally. Now imagine controlling all of that with a wrist flick. Not a tap, not a swipe on your phone. This is not sci-fi. This is what Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses are bringing now. Today we're diving deep into something that might just redefine how we interact with our devices, how we stay connected, and even how present we feel in our own lives. We're talking about Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses, a fusion of fashion, artificial intelligence, augmented display, and intuitive control. Let's get into it. What are Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses? First, what are we talking about? Meta, yes, the company behind Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, has teamed up with Ray-Ban, a name you know for style, to create wearable tech that blends seamlessly into everyday life. These aren't just glasses with a camera or headphones built into a frame. They're AI augmented eyewear built around the idea that our tech should fade into the background when we want to just be and show up when we need it. There are now a few versions. Ray-Ban Meta, Gen 2, upgraded version of the earlier smart glasses, better cameras, more storage, better battery. Meta Ray-Ban Display. This is the big leap. A built-in high-resolution display in the right lens, a neural band wrist strap for gesture control, live captions, maps, messaging, etc. What makes them special? Here are the main breakthroughs that set them apart. Built-in display in the lens. The Ray-Ban display model has a monocular color display embedded in the right lens, so you can see visual content, text, maps, notifications, without pulling out your phone. It's designed to disappear when you're not using it. Neural band wrist strap for gesture control. Not just touch or voice, this band reads electrical signals from your wrist, EMG, so you can control the display with subtle movements, flicks, pinches, gestures. Feels like magic. Camera and audio upgrades, 12 megapixel camera, capable of high quality photos and video, multiple microphones array to pick up distance and direction of sounds, Open-ear speakers. You can hear the world around you, not just what's coming through the glasses. Display specs. Resolution, 600 by 600 pixels, approximately 20 degree field of view. Brightness from 30 to up to 5,000 nits, meaning visible even in very bright environments. Refresh rate up to 90 hertz, though content usually runs at approximately 30 hertz. Battery life. About six hours of mixed usage for the glasses themselves. The charging case adds extra usage, bringing total possible usage up significantly. The neural band has about 18 hours of battery life. Other practical features, transition lenses, automatically adjusting to light, and options for prescription lenses. Water resistance, glasses IPX4, band, neural band, IPX7. So, splashes and sweat are considered. Real-time translation and live captions. The display can show what someone is saying, translate on the fly. This can be huge for communication, accessibility, travel. Why this is a big deal? Let's zoom out. Why do these specs matter? What changes for you, me, all of us? Hands-free information visualized. Instead of always pulling out your phone, stashing it, trying to glance while walking, etc. Some of that information can be delivered in line of sight. Think messages, directions, alerts, without breaking flow. More present living. Because the tech is less obtrusive, the aesthetics matter. Ray-Ban's classic looks. A display that doesn't feel or look like a VR slash AR headset. Gesture control so you're not always touching. It encourages being more in the moment. Breakthroughs in accessibility. Live captions help people who are hearing impaired. Real-time translation helps travelers or people communicating in multilingual contexts. Also allows for visual or audio cues that adapt to surroundings. 
New design space for wearables. This kind of device shows where wearables are headed, not just fitness bands or smartwatches, but gear that integrates deeply, yet subtly, into our lives. It pushes boundaries for display tech, gesture controls, and AI in everyday form factors, challenges, and trade-offs. It's not all perfect, it never is. To be fair, here are trade-offs to consider. Price. The Meta Ray-Ban display version costs around $799 US dollars at launch. That's a premium for most people. Battery life limitations, six hours is good, but for heavy usage, say traveling, filming a long vlog, etc., you'll need that charging case or be ready to recharge. Weight and comfort. The display models are a bit thicker, heavier than simpler glasses. If you're wearing glasses all day, comfort becomes critical. Slight discomfort could limit adoption. Privacy concerns. Cameras plus microphones equals privacy questions. Meta has added some visible indicators when recording, but people will still worry about where and when they might be recorded without knowing. Display limitations. Because the display is only in one lens, only visible to the wearer, and generally used for fairly simple tasks, not full AR overlays of the world. Also, high brightness and clarity are great, but real-world glare, lighting conditions, etc. may affect usability. Use Cases – How You'd Use Them in Real Life Let's imagine actual scenarios. This is where the inspiration hits travel, and navigation. You're in a new city, you're walking to a cafe, the display shows turn-by-turn -turn directions in your lens, you glance when needed, not pulling out your map every block. Bonus, you ask, hey Meta, where is the nearest coffee shop? And the display shows options. Language moments. You're talking to someone speaking in another language, you don't understand every word. The live translation captions show up in your lens, helping you follow or respond, all while still seeing their face and expressions. Content creators and social media. Capture moments without fighting gravity playing phone or selfie. The viewfinder on the lens previews what you're shooting. Gesture to zoom, gesture to record, live stream to your audience, then share directly. Meetings, classrooms, public speaking, need notes, reminders, customer names in front of you, live captions for what others are saying, avoid missing stuff because you're busy taking notes, accessibility and daily assistance. For people with hearing loss, captions help. For vision issues, descriptions of surroundings from Meta AI, object recognition, these features can make everyday life smoother. Should you get them? If you're thinking of buying, here's what to consider. Go for it. If you value being connected without always using a phone, you like emerging tech and want to stand on the leading edge, you have use for live info, captions, translation, hands-free control, style, comfort, design matter to you. Maybe wait or go with Gen 2 if you want lower price, you don't need a display, just good capture plus social features. Battery life or weight is a concern. You're unsure about privacy implications and want to see how public adoption is. We stand at a moment where technology is literally coming to our faces, becoming more personal, more integrated, more human. Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses, especially the new display version with neural band, show us that the boundary between device and experience is shrinking fast. This is the future of wearable tech, where your glasses are your screen, your voice is your input, your gestures your controller, and your presence what matters most. So here's my question for you. When was the last time a tech product made you feel excited about tomorrow? Because the Ray-Ban Meta Display Glasses do that. They promise tomorrow, today. If you found this video eye-opening, if you can see the potential, hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and share this with someone who loves tech or wants to peek into the future. Don't just watch the future, be part of shaping it.